Hello guys, I am Devindu and in this video we will see what is props and how to use them. But if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, then subscribe now and also like this video. So let's start. We all know that React components are simple JavaScript function or class which return JSX. And just like any JavaScript function, it can also take some inputs and use them as needed. For React components, these inputs are called props and props stands for properties. These React props are just like the JavaScript object which has some key value paired value. If you see this part of the reactjs.org website, we can see in this section some features are mentioned and also inside that component we can also identify some individual components just like this. If you see these components properly, it seems that each components are different from each other because their texts are also different. But the font size, the color, the background color, and every other properties are same. And if you see these three Facebook posts, they are looking like similar structure, but their content is different. Just like the text or the pictures are also different. So it may seem that those are the actual different component. But in real, this is can't possible to create each and every component just by manually. So we don't create each and every component for each and every post. What we do, we give the different types of props in our component input. And this props takes place whatever we wanted to see inside our component or inside our post. So although it seems that these components are different from each other completely, but in real these are the same component which just get the different types of props. Just like in our case, these all are similar components of features and this feature component gets different types of props for each cases and just like for the first cases the title is declarative so it's showing declarative as their output and also component base component base and learn ones right anywhere learn one right anywhere also the description of each components are totally different so the output of these components are totally different so the components are exactly similar but the props are different so we see the different output every time so we understand the powerful use of the props and why we use the props but how to use them and the answer is through the attributes of jsx so suppose we have some components like user in our case and we want to pass some properties just like name and surname so we can pass these properties or the props in the user component by the attribute just like our HTML attributes, we have also JSX attribute and we pass actually name and surname and these attributes are converted into a JavaScript object and this is called the props and this props is actually taken input in our component user and this props can be used in our JSX output and in our case we just use my name is as a simple text and then our props name and props surname and this surname is exactly the surname of the props and name is also the prop name and after rendering this whole j6 is converted or replaced by the props value and became just like this my name is devendu dash and the devendu is the prop name and dash is the prop surname suppose we have the same component user and we need to build this type of output in our screen so how can we do this nothing complex just pass different types of prof in each cases so in my case i pass devindu dash devindu as name and surname as dash in first case and also in second case i pass name as shilpi and surname as shorkar and also in the third case i pass dia as name and surname as dash so in each time this component props are different so the component actually changes their text regarding to their props value so in the first case it's became my name is devendu dash and in the second case my name is shilpi shurkar in the third case my name is dia dash so this is how our props works i think enough for this theory portion just of now and just dive into the coding section now so i am in the visual studio code of our react app and also start the development server and in the previous video we created two components welcome and greetings and now in this video we will create one another component called user so i am just quickly creating this component
and in the input of our component i write props in the argument for the input and also i am writing props.name and props.surname in the curly basis so our component is completed with the props and we also need to export it so just quickly export it export default user and it is our previous day's code so i'm just deleting the welcome and greetings component and i am just importing our user component so input user from the path of the file user j6 so dot slash component and user so also we need to create the component syntax so user so after declaring the user we need to pass the props at html attribute or j6 attribute so i am just passing name as my name devindu and the surname as dash okay so we are successfully passing the props into the component so if i just save this and go for the output you can see there's written my name is devendu dash and devendu dash is coming from the props for better visualization i am just adding one class name in the user component output j6 and in the app css i am just typing this css for the better visualization and this is what it look like after the css so we created one component with the props but if i just replicate this and change these props as shilpi and in the surname as shorkar and also the third user as dia and surname is also dash if i just save this and see the output the we can see the three different components with these different types of props one is devendu dash shilpi shorkar and dia dash this is exactly what we pass in our props but what if we don't pass any props in our user so if i just creating one component without any props so just see the value i'm just saving this and go for the output we can see the component is there but there is no name because the props dot name and the props dot surname is empty because we don't pass any props so if we do not pass any parameters or the props we can definitely see the component but we can't see the props value because we don't pass any props but what if do we don't want this empty spaces for the name and surname we always want some default value for our component props so in that case we can do this with this type of syntax i'm just writing user and this user is actually our component name and i'm just writing this in the user.jsx so for the default props just i am writing user.default props and i am using the camel case just see this and if i just pass one object as and i'm just writing name as abc and also i'm giving surname as xyz and if i just save this and see the output we can see where we don't have any props name or props value we can see the default value of them so as if we don't have any props name or value we can just write unknown for the name unknown spelling is wrong so unknown and just typing the similar type of for the surname unknown and if i just save this see unknown and unknown and what if i don't pass my surname in the first component just passing the name so if i just save this and go for the output i can see in place of my surname in the first component i can see unknown because the props dot surname is invalid for this component we can also see the props value inside our console so for the console i'm just right clicking and go in the inspect and inside the inspect tab i just expanding and in there we have the console tab so for seeing anything in the console we just need to write console.log so for seeing the props value i am just writing console.log and passing props okay so props 
and actually we can do any type of variable initialization or any type of functional call or declaration inside one function so i am just writing console log because whenever this function is executing or the our component is creating this console log will always runs and after that our component return this so i am just saving this and if i go for the output i can see there's four console logs so that's mean our console log runs four times because there are four different components so that's why the console log runs four different times each of the cases and if i just see the props are actually the object javascript object and in the first case the name is devindu and surprisingly our surname is unknown because we don't pass the props in our component this replaced by the default component or the default props of the user component and in the second case i have shilpi and shorkar and the third case the adash and the fourth case i don't have any name or i don't pass any props so it's showing unknown and unknown in both cases we can also pass our props inside our child component for that demonstration i created one new component details and in the user component i am just using this detail components and i am just giving one props inside the details so for giving any type of props inside any component we just need html attributes and for that for details component the attribute name is gender and the attribute value is our props dot gender that's mean whatever props we are getting in our user component these props dot gender is passing in our child component details so anything we passed inside our user component just like i am passing gender as male and if i just save this this gender props is passed in the user and in from the user it's passed in the details component so this is how we can pass our props value inside our child component in the detail components just showing i am a good and then props dot gender so if i just see the output as of now i can see my name is devindu dash or oh sorry devindu unknown because i don't pass any surname inside my user first user and just passing one gender male and if i see the first component i have i am a good male because we pass male in our user component and from the user it passes to the details component so that i can see or we can see the male but in the other components we can't see this type of any male or female because we don't pass any props and if i just pass the gender attribute inside our user just like in the shilp shorkar i am just passing props as female and for the ajash i am also passing as female and if i just save this i can see the shilp shorkar became good female and the ajash became good female we can also set up one default value for the details for that in the details section i am just writing details and default props and in the props i am just writing gender as unknown because we just need gender here so if i just save this and in the app dot js if i just removing my gender and just save this oops there something error happens oops it will become colon not equals to so if i just save this it will show devindu my surname is unknown and also they are showing unknown and i am just passing my gender again and just see in that components we don't pass any any props and so all user is showing unknown unknown and his gender is also unknown so this is how you can pass the props inside your component and you can also pass this props inside your child component so we can pass any type of prop or any number of props in our component but there's one case we can't actually change our props if i just try to change our props in any component just like i am just wanted to change our props dot name value inside our component it will show some error so i am just wanted to change it as abc and if i just save this and go for the output the every component's prop name is changed to abc because 
whenever this function is executed these lines will always execute it first and then it will return anything so if i just change the props name in my component it will definitely change each props in our component so we can't change any props value inside our component because if i just wanted to change one props name it will just change the every every component's props name so i'm just deleting it also there's one point that if i change any props name the component will re-render and its child component will also re-render so suppose in the meantime in our user component somehow for just like somehow we change our props.gender value so in that case the details component will be rendered or if somehow in our app.js component we just changed our passing name or gender or surname the whole user component will be rendered and also whatever components are there inside our user component or the child components or user will also be rendered so this is all for the props in react and in the next video we will discuss everything about the state in react so if you don't want to mix that video then subscribe now immediately and also like this video so see you in the next video bye bye